So in here we will learn about how to listen an event that has been made by Firebase Extension. As you know, Firebase Extension has an update on Google I.O. about event. So in that case, we have some more flexibility in terms of clubbing and managing Firebase Extension. We will use a Firebase Extension resize image. So whenever the image has been stored into Firebase storage, the image will be resized automatically. And then we will get an event once the resize has been completed. And then from that event, we can do something. And let's just try that we will lock something on that. So let's get started. And now let's find the extension. And from the extension list, you can try to find resize image that has been made by the Firebase itself. So let's install our resize image extension in the Firebase console. And you can read about the description about this resize image behavior. And then you can try to review what this extension is involving other technologies, such as a cloud function, as well as even arc channel. But at, at first, we have to enable the Firebase storage because we will have to upload our image into the Firebase. You can choose whether a production mode or test mode, but for now, let's just choose the test mode. You can choose the location of the extension that actually the closest to your location so that it will have a better performance. Once it has been done, we can continue on the next step to install this extension. So you can see here it requires storage admin, continue. And then you can choose the location of your extension. And then you can choose other properties for the extension as well. So in here we will choose to delete our original image that has been resized. So this is the most important part. You can click enable events and then you can choose the channel location of your events. I suggest you to use the default location so that uh, you will not get charged for the difference for your channel and your Firebase extension location. So we can choose the default. And then on top of that, you can get the even name that you can put that on your Firebase Cloud function to listen to. So in here, it says that firebase.extension.storage.image.version1. And then you can click the install extension and after that, we should wait around 305 minutes until the extension is ready and it's integrated with our Firebase project. Once the resource image extension has been installed, you can try to double check about the configuration and the properties. As you can see in here, everything is stated about the location the name of your extension, and then as well as other properties that you set up before. And here you can see that the Firebase even name. Now let's move in, let's create our Firebase Cloud function by doing Firebase init. And then choose functions, and then you can choose the project. Once once the project has been created, as you can see in here, the function folder has been created and with as well as Firebase.json and Firebase RC for our Firebase configuration. And in this file, index.js, it's a file where you can put your logic. And now let's import on custom event publish from event our API and as well as put the name of event from our Firebase extension event. And from inside the function, we can just make a logger that image has been resized to make sure that the event has been triggered. And now let's just do Firebase deploy to deploy our cloud function. And once it has been done, let's check for our cloud function. As you can see in here, the trigger is still unknown. It means that the deploy is on progress. And once it has been done, the trigger details is visible. And now let's check the Firebase storage upload our image, we can pick an image, we can, let's just choose Firebase image for now. And once the image has been uploaded, we can check the lock on the Google Cloud platform that has been integrated with the Firebase. And yep, the lock is exist. It means that the events has been triggered. Our Cloud function that listening to an event has been triggered. It means that our function is working and that's good. 
in summary, we have successfully integrated Firebase Exchange and resize image as well as set up the event when the resize image has been completed. And then we create and deploy our cloud function that will log something. And then the log will go on the Google Cloud platform to make sure that the function is really executed. I think that's all and thank you and I will see you on the next one.